Oh, yes. So, my name is Jake. My presentation is about guns and weapons. And uh, my philosophy is uh, do the most most important things, so and make sure you guys remember that. So, like, I'm not going to have a bunch of facts, so uh, uh, I'll start with that. So, after minutes of research, uh, let's get my first slide. So, the first slide is about swords and knives. The first one is called the Arkansas toothpick, and that's this one. It's a you know good size, good size knife used for uh, stabbing and, and slashing. The uh, next one is a bayonet, which is this knife. It's a bit uh, more girthy than this one. Someone's more of a toothpick design, of course, by the name. That one is a uh, you know a bit heavier. You can do some more damage, I guess. The Bowie knife is actually one-sided, so you can't like swing both ways. It's, it's, you know, you can do what's called a finisher, which is where you go behind someone and you, like kick them in the knee and like stab them multiple times. Like Very that useful one. for a uh, <laughs> bowie knife for that. Uh, yeah. uh, and then the next one is the sidearms. Most common in Civil War was revolvers. So uh, the Adams M1851. I don't know why that has so many numbers, but they're there. That's what it looks like. You know. It's a, it's a mid range revolver. Holds uh, some bullets in here. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's just, I believe this one is single and double action, so that means. It's okay, so single action is you load back the hammer right and then you pull the trigger and it shoots. Double action is the hammer still up and then you pull it and then it does it for you. But double action takes longer. Uh, it's just like one is like spray and pray and one of them is more accurate if you're going for some. Scoped in your secondary. And that next one, pretty similar to the Colt uh, M, the Rita Patterson revolver. It's a bit longer, um, I guess you can hit some of it if you need to. It's also, most, most revolvers are actually single and double action. I believe this one was actually only single action, pretty sure. And the next one is the Moore M158 revolver. It looks very similar to this, but uh, it's a bit more round here for uh, ergonomic wise. It just it fits the hand better, you know, for the other guys out there. It also is single and double action. It holds six rounds, so you can just, you know, fly flat, I guess. <laughs> and the next slide is rifles and muskets. So the first one is the Sharps M1863 carbine. That is this one. It, it's pretty cool. It's brown, actually. Uh, it's actually a, a long range rifle almost, so uh, it's like longer than this, actually, I'm pretty sure. So uh, you can get some more, some, some ranged snipes, I guess, in there. And the next one is the Spencer M1860 repeating rifle. So it's actually a, a hybrid between a repeating rifle and a carbine, and that means the length is a bit shorter. It still gets the job done, it's just uh, the actual dimensions are shrunk down, like lengthwise. Uh, that's the Spencer rifle. And then the Enfield Pattern P1, okay, they switched up here, the, the P1853 <laughs> rifle musket. So this one is a musket instead of the actual, like these kind, carbine things. So this one's like super duper duper long. You know, you're like 200 meter snipes and just, just take out whatever. It's pretty cool. It's actually like these are, you know, angled and then flat. This one's more flat all across. And you can just lay down and use it, I guess. Oh, yes. All right, the next slide is a real life example. It's a very informative video, and I will pause it and break down and explain what the weapons and all are. Oh, 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 so we'll just go to that real quick. Oh, so, okay, so here we'll go to the first part of it. Uh, and uh, this is a real life example. Uh, if you look here, this is actually the revolver in the first example. It's also double and single action, like Mason and Joe were talking about. The whole six rounds. Oh, it's oh, crazy. Oh, oh, it's only at 360 feet, Jake. You know, that's just, just how it is. Jake, we need 4K. This is like modern warfare war. Like, uh, video from the Civil War, or just a reenactment. <laughs> but uh, it's very effective. Um, you know. I think it could be a, like a one shot, even if it it's very brutal, you get a headshot in. And then he switches to. Actually, <laughs> this isn't the best frame. So, this weapon is, I believe it is the final, the, the third weapon I had. I'm not sure if it's anymore. I think it's a good. 
but that doesn't really matter. It also uh, has a modified scope line. I think this is just for reenactment purposes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a long range weapon, but also, if you do not like aim down the sights, you can also still fire. Like, that's how a gun works. Yeah. But um, that is more of, uh, we call it a no scope, and uh, it's not super effective. But, you know, sometimes it just hits. You see, for example, he fired the weapon here. And I think this was a stun double, didn't actually kill him. But you see, it actually made contact with the uh, enemy. <laughs> it wasn't looking down the... Okay, so that you have iron sights, but this is obviously not iron sights. But he wasn't looking down those, and he still managed to hit it. So now we'll watch a slow motion replay. <laughs> okay, so again, here's a revolver. <laughs> oh, 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 the 360. It's just, it's just pretty sick, you know. And yeah, here's the weapon. Actually, yeah, the trigger. It would be down here, but their GoPro must not be in that wide angle. And he fires it, and yeah, he hit his target right about that mark. They didn't have trucks back in the Civil War, just a spoiler. They did have rocks. So, yeah, there's a video. You can confirm that. There it is. Okay. So yeah, that, that was that. Uh, hopefully it was very educational. Here is my work cited. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs>